going to give it a minute to see if anybody shows up live. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the whole class anyway. But um, so, just give me a minute. See if we can get some people coming in. Anybody joining us now can uh, take a look at what we're going to cover today in class right there. Uh, most of my slides are going to be sitting on that side uh, for most of the class, so make sure you can see it okay. I'm just going to share this in a couple groups just so that everybody can find it. The last time we had some problems with people finding the first video, so um, I'm trying to cover some of those grounds and kind of get everybody involved and help you all out find it a lot easier. So I just want to make sure I get it where everybody wants it. originally tried tagging but apparently I was not allowed to do that on my own page so I, I don't I don't know how this all works technology sometimes doesn't always work the greatest uh, so I'm just kind of going with the flow and hoping it all comes together looks like somebody else is joining me hello I don't know who's all here unless I can see you type something so um, you're more than welcome to ask questions or uh, kind of throw in comments. I can see them as we go along. Hello. Um, I'm just starting to share a little bit in some of the groups just to make sure some people can find it because a lot of people didn't find it the last time so just give me a minute and we'll get started and some people let some people jump in and um, join us. Uh, you can see what we're going to cover in class. Our slides are going to be right there on the side pretty much most of the time. Some of them might cover me, which I'm fine with. So uh, just give me a minute to let some people come. It's a couple minutes after five, so I don't want to keep people waiting who are going to watch this or watch it afterwards. I've heard some people going to, I'm not going to make the live version, but I want to cover everything, so we'll go through everything anyway, just as if this was a live class. Um, I'm going to do the best I can to go through this just like I would if I was doing a class, but I had to make some changes here and there because it's a little different when it comes to doing things live. Uh, normally this would be on my TV screen behind me so I'm gonna have a lot of those slides but other than that uh, you can still do live if you're here live you can still ask questions and that kind of stuff so that's why I wanted to do it live but I'm also gonna have the video up in case you want to come back later and watch it and kind of go over whatever with people who didn't make it um, that's fine however you want to do it this is all for you all and it's all free so free information you can't beat that this will probably take about two hours full length through because there's a lot of information so if you are live and you or even if you're not um, have a pencil and paper maybe around if you haven't had a chance to get the materials from our actual class list um, you can go ahead and go back to that the event is on the main page so you can go to the event page and get all the materials that I'm going to kind of go over here. Um, you might want to do that because there's some lists of apps and stuff we're going to talk about and 
um, some printing pages and stuff you may want to have a list of. So go ahead and head over to that after we're done and you can keep them for yourself. Um, and I'm not going to cover each thing that's on there, so if you don't have those papers, you're not going to know all of the information that we're covering in class. So um, I suggest you at least go download it or have it on file or something. You don't have to print them, but just have them so you have the list. All right, so um, just so that this doesn't take, this length of the video doesn't take too long, I'm going to start. What we're going to cover in class is pretty much a lot of different stores, but we're going to cover a lot of stores, their rewards programs, their online account benefits, um, some of their weekly information or their weekly ad information and how to read some of their ads. Um, we're also going to talk about a personal shopper with Kmart. Um, some coupons, finding coupons, like specific locations. I will go over some of that because that is the paperwork that I, the materials I was talking about. Mail and rebates we talked about a little last time, but we're going to cover a little more in detail. And also the rebate apps we'll cover a little more in detail and the names of the ones out there. So we might want to stick around for some of that. So one of the first types of stores that I like to cover are the pharmacies. And the pharmacies are kind of left out there a lot of times because they're expensive and a lot of places that you don't want to buy because they're expensive. I mean, if you walked into the pharmacy right now, CVS, Walgreens, or Rite Aid, you would know they're pretty expensive. But when it comes to sales and their rewards programs, they have some great rewards programs that you can take advantage of then get money back for, which turns out to be a lot better deals than if you were to just say walk into Kroger and get a good deal. Um, for all three pharmacies, CVS Rite Aid and Walgreens, their ads run Sunday to Saturday, so most likely you're going to see them in the Sunday paper, or obviously you can walk into the store and grab them in store, but they do run Sunday to Saturday, so all the sales usually end on Saturday. Keeps you at a nice pace every week to keep an eye out for that week, the weekly ones on Saturday, for the Sunday, for the next Sunday, start next week. Um, the rewards though, all three of them do have a rewards program, but of course it takes a little time to get used to the certain rewards. CVS has extra care bucks, and a lot of times you'll see people posting, they'll say ECB, that means extra care bucks. They print on the bottom of your receipt, so um, you won't have any problems keeping track of it, you won't have to log in for anything, they actually are on the bottom of your receipt, and you can use them like cash when you check out. With Rite Aid, they have a program called Plenty Points, and they track on the bottom of your receipt. So they are a point system that goes on your, your account, and then you have points to use when you go to um, the store and use them like cash that way, but they come off of your actual card. The only way to track them is through Plenty.com or RiteAid.com. You can see either one, how, you, how many points you have, but they are a point system. When it comes to Walgreens, though, Walgreens is the one that I tell everybody to do last. <clears throat> do not try Walgreens unless you're familiar with CVS and Rite Aid and are pretty good with all the others because the Walgreens has a balance rewards, BR for short, which track on your receipt. They're basically like points, so you can earn points that way. But there's also a thing called register rewards or RR for short, and they are a little different. They print at the register like a, a coupon. Basically, they look like the Catalina coupons we talked about the last time. Um, they print on in the Catalina type machine and their register rewards. It's not a point system. So Walgreens has the two separate things, the point system and a printed like coupon. So um, that's when it can get a little confusing when it comes to Walgreens and I say it's a last resort to try that. I wouldn't try it unless you are a little more familiar with Rite Aid and CVS. If you're very new, I suggest you check out CVS and Rite Aid and get to use to their point systems and their extra care bucks better than the Walgreens one first. And I'm sure any coupon or out there would tell you the same thing. When it comes to Walgreens, it's just a little more complicated to get started on. So just hold off Walgreens if you can for a little while. The best thing I say with Walgreens is go in and check their clearance because they do have clearance deals. That's a great place to start for that. Um, and they do have some good sales when it comes to in the ad coupons. So check their coupons and stuff like that in the ad. But as far as messing with their re register rewards and balance rewards, unless you're pretty familiar, I wouldn't go too far with that.
when it comes to CVS, CVS is the extra care bucks. And let me just make this a little bigger so we can see it a little better. So when it comes to CVS, one of the first things you want to do is once you get a card in store, um, the best thing to do is have a card in store, but once you get it, you can lo log into your online account and you'll notice you have access to a lot of different things. You have access to um, your savings center, which will give you your list of coupons for the week. You have options to print them there. I wouldn't recommend printing them there necessarily because you're wasting ink and paper and everything else because the other option is to go in store and go to that red box machine. At the very bottom left of the picture there, it shows you a red box machine. When we say red box, I don't mean the, the movie red box. I mean the red box machine that's inside CVS. Um, so when you go in, there's a machine somewhere in the store, usually towards the front of the, you can scan your card and the coupons will print. So any coupons that you see in your savings center and your online account are going to print at the red box unless you've already printed them before. They only print once, so make sure if you do print them, hang on to them. Um, and you can print them online too. If you lose one, you, you can go back to your online account and print. So you, you're more than, you can print them off a couple times if you want to, but they're only good for one use. So just make sure if you have them, hang on to them. Um, do you also, that red box machine is also good for price checking. So a lot of people find some good deals on clearance at CVS just by price checking some of the ads or some of the things in store just by walking through the store and checking. If you're signing in, you can also see your local ad online. And the good part about CVS is usually on Thursday, like today is Thursday. So you could see the ad for next week just today by logging in. And it'll give you this week's ad and it'll also give you a preview of next week's ad. So if you wanted to plan ahead if something, some deal's going on or you know that you need to get something, you might find a better deal next week than you would this week. So it's a good thing to check CVS sometimes a little ahead of time and see their ad early. But definitely make sure you log your online account. The next thing is Walgreens. If you're gonna if you're gonna go to Walgreens and try out Walgreens, that's great. If you're um, just going to browse with the coupons and that kind of stuff, you can still do that. But the best thing to do is start by logging in online and connecting your Walgreens account with your online account. That way, you have access to the coupons online. So store coupons are there, uh, manufacturers coupons are there. You can actually load coupons to your car just like you can with Kroger and some of the other places. They're all there for you. And then you don't have to worry about any print or paper coupons at all, really, um, unless you're buying extra stuff that have extra paper coupons. But you can see your balance rewards there. So if you're not sure how many points are, you have, you can always check there. And you can also see the weekly ad. Now with Walgreens, the only way for you to see an ad ahead of time for their Walgreens site, unlike CVS where you can do it Thursday before, with Walgreens, you have to sign up for their email uh, to make sure you're, you get emails from Walgreens for them to send you a preview of their next week's ad. And they usually do, but you have to be signed up for their email to get it. That's the only way to really do it. There's no way to look on their ads online to find it. If you're signed in online with your account with Walgreens too, make sure that you check every once in a while or if you see a post up, Walgreens does free 8x10s every once in a while on pictures. So if you get a code for that, this is where you would do it. You'd have to do it online. You go to the online account with Walgreens and you can sign into your account, upload an 8 an eight by picture to make an 8x10 and then order it to ship to store and put the code in and you get free 8x10s. But you have to have an online account to be able to do that because it's a limit of one per account. So just make sure you have an account at least to do some of those deals, even if you don't shop Walgreens. Now, Rite Aid does the exact same thing pretty much as uh, both of them. So make sure you also sign up your account when you sign in um, Rite Aid. Do the same thing with your card. Log in, sign up, um, and make sure that you check that every once in a while because they do have their weekly ad. They also have load to card coupons. They so. That's a that's a big deal right there, but let me just tell you that the load the card coupons are funny with Rite Aid. 
what you need to do is check in every once in a while, load them to your card, and have them ready. Because even if they disappear, or even if they are um, gone for other people, if you've already loaded them and they haven't expired, they will still be on your card. And a lot of times, people have found deals for the following week, the next week, from a coupon that they loaded last week and is gone for everybody. So if there's something that you want to purchase, and even if you don't get the coupon locally, it may be on your load the card coupons, check it and load it because you never know if it'll disappear and you might have a good deal next week. So make sure you load any coupons that you're planning on using or something you would normally purchase. But definitely link your card. You can't use plenty unless you link your card online. So just make sure you do that or else you're not going to get your points added. Um, you're not going to get your uh, your rewards and everything else when you shop at Rite Aid. So you definitely have to do that for Rite Aid. So this is what Plenty would look like because Plenty is a different program with Rite Aid. It do, Plenty actually has different offers, not just from Rite Aid. They have offers with Exxon, they have Macy's, they have Alamo, they have all different types, uh, Hulu, things like that, uh, nationwide. So if you have nationwide insurance, you can earn Plenty points just from paying your bill. If you have, uh, if you shop at Macy's, you can spend and earn points at Macy's. Uh, there's other, there's a whole bunch of different ways now that you can. There's like a whole online marketplace now that you can actually earn points from Plenty. So just check, you might want to check that out from Plenty.com or download the Plenty app and look at the different online marketplace offers and see how else you can earn points. But the, the best way to do it is to check them every once in a while anyway because Rite Aid does different ones every week. Every week Rite Aid does their regular deals and their ads. But every once in a while Plenty actually offers an extra deal, but they're ones that you have to actually activate. If you don't activate them, you won't earn them. So if you see the in the picture there, it says activate offer. That was a whole separate offer than the normal weekly ad deals that Rite Aid usually offers. So in that case, it was five dollars in points, which is five dollars in points when you spend twenty-five or more, and I had to activate it to be able to earn it. But that's on top of all the weekly deals because they're already activated for Plenty, and I get them if I just shop at Rite Aid for the normal deals. So you might want to check just plenty.com every once in a while and see if there's any offers that are extra and special to you and your your points. Everybody may not get the same ones, but you may have something really good. For a while there, some people were getting five back on 50 while others were getting 10 back on 100. So um, you never know what your deals may be for the extra ones, but they're different than the ones that are in the regular ads. So you, you at least check them out. And when you're in Plenty, you can also see a bunch of other things. You can see what offers you've activated. That's one of the things. Once you've activated them, they're activated. And you can see in their activated offer section when they expire and if they're still available. So you can always check them just to make sure you knew you had one on there and if it's still available or not. It's there, whether it's there. And then you can also see your point balance and your point activity. When it comes to Rite Aid and you earn points today, they're not available until tomorrow at 6 a.m. So if you go today and you um, purchase something, you don't know for sure if your points are activated. One, you can look at the very bottom of your receipt to see if you earned them before you do anything else. If you're not sure, you can always go to plenty.com and uh, look at your activated or your recent activity. It will say pending if it's in waiting for some points to be loaded. Um, so if you see a pending there, you know by tomorrow at 6 a.m. they'll be available. But that's the way to tell if you've lost your receipt or something and you're, you're not really sure if you got your reward points. You can always check online. When it comes to Rite Aid, we talked a little bit about the last time about store coupons. When it comes to Rite Aid, they have a booklet that comes out probably about once a month. That's usually once. Uh, one one booklet use use one time and use probably one day in the month so but you have to ask for this it's not something that you just see fine laying around in your store they may have it laying around somewhere but for the most part they they do have um, them somewhere hiding and sometimes it just takes you watching or you asking for them to find them and I always say it's always a good thing to ask for coupons if you're not sure if the store has them 
uh, worst case scenario, ask and they'll tell you no or they'll tell you yes. I mean, so it doesn't hurt to ask, but these are out there. So Rite Aid does have them. Um, so just check with your store to see if they're, they're available. Sorry about that. Switch the wrong picture. Um, when it comes to Walgreens, I talked a little bit about the sales part. For the sales part of the deals, this is the best thing to do. If you're not even planning on dealing with the rewards, you can always go into, just walk into Walgreens anytime and find the savings booklet for the month. They have it usually right by, right by the, um, the ad for the week. It's usually sitting right there. But you only need one of these. Do not get scammed to buy these. They are completely free right in the store and you only need one to purchase up to four items. So you can use one coupon and it up lasts for four items in the transaction. So you don't even need this and they, they don't even take the coupon. They just scan it. They don't need the coupon. You can keep the booklet all you want. So don't buy these. I've seen these for sale and people are actually buying them. There's no reason to. The other thing about these are these are the store coupons that are loaded in your load to card coupons. So you don't even have to have the booklet itself. You can go online and see what, what ones are in the booklet. All you have to do is sign in online and check the, they actually have a tab where you can see just the store coupons um, for Walgreens. So you can just go right to there and click whatever ones you need and use them in store. They'll come off automatically. The answers booklets, the answers at Walgreens booklets are completely separate they are scattered around the entire store. So if you walk up and down the aisles, this one was the vitamins and supplement booklet, and they were probably hanging over exactly by the vitamins and supplement section. So if you walk up and down the aisles, you'll see these things sticking out with these booklets in them. They actually have coupons in them. Most of them are Walgreens coupons, so you can stack them with manufacturer's coupons. However, every once in a while, we find a booklet that actually has manufacturer's coupons in there. So take a look at them, even grab one of each of them, just take a look at what's in them. If there's something you'd buy, hang on to them. For a while there, there was a try a minute coupon in one of the booklets and it was a dollar off and it was a manufacturer's coupons and try a minute was at Dollar Tree. So for a dollar at Dollar Tree and a dollar off coupon, they were free at the Dollar Tree. But again, you have to check to make sure it's not Walgreens coupons, that they are manufacturer's coupons. But either way, it's good to just pick up a booklet to check out to see what coupons are in there. And they're all through the store. You can get a bunch of them. Now CVS is like the number one popular store when it comes to um, couponers starting out. And everybody loves CVS when it comes to that. And, and you can see why now that you see the coupons that are available out there. There's a few options for CVS. One, you want to make sure you sign up for CVS's email because you do want email coupons. The 25% off right there is basically an email coupon that they send directly to you. Usually once a week, Thursdays, you'll get a coupon, which is great because you can start it. You can either use it this week or you can start it off for next week. But you never know what coupon you're going to get. Sometimes you'll get 5 off 15, sometimes you'll get uh, 5 off 20, sometimes you'll get 30%, sometimes you'll get 25%, but a coupon's a coupon and it's good for the week. So definitely sign up for emails for coupons. Two, check this, the weekly ad. Um, in one week here, there's a 5 off any cosmetics purchase of $15 or more. That comes around a lot and that's usually for everybody. So they might have that advertised in the ad or they may not even advertise it. But if you go, to, as long as you go to that red box and scan your card that week, you'll get your coupon for the week. And sometimes they don't even expire that week. Sometimes, you know, they're good for next week too. So you can always check out next week's deal with the same coupon. But those will be for pretty much everybody. As long as you walk into the store that week and scan your card, you'll have your coupon. But you have to make sure you get in that week because if it's advertised in the ad to get at the red box and it's that deal, it's only good for that week. It's only available that week to print. So make sure you do it. If for some reason you can't get to CVS to, to, to the red box, you can always go to um, the, your account online and find your rewards that way and find your account that way. And you'll have that coupon imprinted out there. So you can check that too. 
The other way to get CVS coupons is through CVS and they have a an actual coupon center. So you can go to their coupon center and find CVS coupons. They are, it's similar to coupons.com. You'll find a lot of the same coupons that you see on coupons.com, but you'll also see their CVS coupons towards the top. So in this case, you'll see once they print out, they'll come out with the CVS logo on it or the CVS pharmacy there. That, that means it's a CVS coupon and can stack them with manufacturer's coupons. You have to be careful though because a lot of these are limit one and they won't let you do it uh, at all per transaction. You have to do one per transaction. But you can still have two prints just like you would at, coup at coupons.com. So you can print two but you have to do it in separate transactions or separate trips. Um, but they're, they're out there so you might want to check that every once in a while and see if there's any good matchups with some of the sales and the deals going on. get my picture straight. There we go. So for when it comes to the ads, I like to point out some of the things in the ads that we have to watch out for. Advertising is all about the ads. The ads are there to advertise the good, the bad, and what they want you to buy. So I want to take care of covering some of those things because we, we see we tend to fall for it. it's advertising is why they they put it the way it do, they do in CVS keep an eye out for the weekly deals every week they'll have a weekly deal somewhere meaning they will give you a coupon specifically for something in the store in this case it was a 7-up 7-up um, A&W Canada Dry or Sunkiss 2 liter bottles were on sale for 99 cents and everybody who had a card could come into the store scan their card at the red box and get 30 cents off and that's going to be a store coupon. So if you had another coupon to de another deal coupon, manufacturer's coupon we had in the newspaper two or three weeks ago, you could use that with it too. So just keep an eye out for those weekly deals. But it's only a weekly deal, so usually the coupon will print, and it's only good for that week. So you it's you have to go into the store that week. There's no other option to get that deal. But you also have to have a card to be able to scan it to be able to get the deal so just make sure you have your card and signed up and everything so you at least get that throughout the year they do have free deals like that too they have um, they've had free paper towels free um, dish soap they've had some odd free things here and there too so uh, you can't miss out on those deals those are definitely a good time to have a card and just walk into the store for the week and get your free stuff the other thing to watch out for with their ads specifically are the details of their ads. In the details in this example here is Cheerios 11.25 to 13.1 ounce. A lot of times the pharmacies don't stock a huge shelf. They don't have a lot of stuff on their shelf. So when there's a good deal going on, like if this was a huge deal on Cheerios, people would be running in there and there probably would only be two or three boxes that fit into this little detail category to get the sale price. So you just have to be careful that when you go into the store you have an ad with you, grab an ad in the front of the store to make sure that you have the exact item that's going to get you the best deal. If you're never sure about the deal, whether or not it's on that sale price, you can always go to the red box machine and use it as a price checker. So I'd go over there and take the Cheerio box, check the the red box machine and make sure it was ringing up three for seven that way you knew before you even got to the register and had any problems you also have to check out your limit per card a lot of times with CVS your limit per card is one so if you're you know if you're only buying three of those Cheerios boxes that's fine you'll get a dollar back but if you bought six you wouldn't get two dollars back so just make sure you only buy what the limit is and expect only what the limits gonna give you back the other little trick to these ads is if you notice sometimes they have something in there about the newspaper coupon. Check for a newspaper coupon. They know what news, what coupons are coming out in the newspaper so they are aware of if you're going to get something for free or not. That's why we tell you to hang on to those coupons a few weeks. So the newspaper ad coupon that came in this past week might not be the best one. We might have had a better one three weeks ago. So don't always go by, check the newspaper for this coupon. The other thing is sometimes we don't get this, the newspaper coupon. Um, there's times when the regions, in the re certain regions, we don't get it. So you just have to make sure you check your, check your paper and check our 
past papers to make sure there may not be a pretty good coupon in there. With CVS also the red box machine is a huge help is for any price checking when it comes to deals like this when it says three for seven they will give you sometimes they will ring up specifically three for seven sometimes they will ring up um, each separate price like a lot of times the coke deals we have going on there uh, sometimes it's like four for twelve but sometimes they don't ring up four for twelve unless you absolutely buy four of them to get the sale price other times they will actually ring up three dollars each so that way you do get the the sale price so you can check the red box or you can even ask them a lot of times they know how their registers ring up so you can ask them if you have to buy all four or whether you have you can separate them sometimes you can sometimes you can't CVS is tricky when it comes to that when it comes to Rite Aid Rite Aid has well Rite Aid CVS and Walgreens all have deals that kind of come out when it come out like this where if you buy a certain amount of a product $12 in this case you'll get $4 back they do this a lot sometimes it's five back when you spend 20 sometimes it's five back when you spend 25 um, there's a lot of diaper deals with 10 back when you spend 30 um, there's a lot of deals like this when it comes to CVS you don't have to spend the exact amount as long as you get 98% of it or at, up to close to it so you can spend $19.99 and still get your rewards for a $20 reward. But in the case of Rite Aid and Walgreens, it has to be over $12. So you just have to make sure you spend over the $12 to get your $4 back in points. So with Rite Aid, 400 point, 100 points equals a dollar. So this is $4 in points back with $12. The $12 spent is always before coupons with all three of them. So you, as long as you spend $12 before the coupon, you don't have to, you hit your $4 and you'll get your rewards. But make sure again that you're checking your product details. Sometimes it may be for all Dove products. Sometimes it's only for specific ones. So just make sure to check that before you start grabbing, you know, just odd things on the shelf. All ads come out with this weird little system they show. They'll show you the sale price. They'll show you possibly a manufacturer's coupon. They'll show you the rewards and stuff like that on there. And they'll tell you the after coupon price. That is not what you have to use. Just remember when you're spending $12, you can buy two of the Dove bar soaps or body washes for $6.50 and you're gonna hit your $12 by hitting $13. It doesn't, it won't be the after coupon price. It won't be the $11 after coupon that you're gonna go by. They're gonna go by the $6.50. So you're actually gonna hit your rewards at $12 by buying two of them. So it's always before the coupons. You also wanna check your limits. The limits are gonna give a lot away, especially in the very early in the months for, for these places. If it says a limit of four offers per card, and it usually has a purchase date, it's a monthly deal. So it'll go through the whole month. You don't have to race out and get the deal now. The sale may change, but the deal will go on. This $4 when you spend 12. So um, check for that too. If it's a huge limit, especially with CVS, it'll be a limit of six for a month. For Rite Aid, it's usually a limit of four for the month. Normal, normal limits are one at CVS and two at Rite Aid. So, when you see more, it's definitely a, a monthly deal and you have a little bit more time to pick it up than you do just the regular weekly deals. Hi Sandra, uh, you can ask questions or jump in at any time if you want or if you need anything, let me know. Uh, people have been jumping in and out and if they have any questions, I'm covering up my face every once in a while, it's alright got to make sure you can see everything so and when it comes to Walgreens because they have the two rewards programs we have the two different types of things you'll see in the ad the one on the left you're going to see is for register rewards and they have the little mark on the top to let you know what what type of rewards you're going to get but Walgreens is tricky they try to trick you with their ads by putting in everything they'll say that here's your at your sale price which is $2.99 in this case They'll even show you the re register reward you're going to get back. They're going to show you what coupons they think came in the last paper, which you may or may not get depending on the region. And then they'll show you the price after rewards. And if you notice, it's a lot bigger than all the others because that's what they do. They want you to see that price and be like, hey, we're going to go there. And then when you go to the register and you buy a bunch of them, 
you your total's a lot worse than what it seems like and you'll just pay it and walk out. A lot of people do that and that's how they make their money. But you need to pay attention to a few things in this ad, not just those little things. Crest Pro Health mouthwash in this case was only the 16.9 ounce and like I said a few minutes ago and some of the other ads, they, are, they don't carry a lot of things in stock so when it comes to being very specific about the store, uh, about the product they want for this deal, the store only carries maybe a couple. So if it's a really good deal, make sure you get in there and get it as soon as you can in the week. If you can't, um, get a rain check or check to see if you can get a rain check. But definitely make sure that you grab the right size because there's times they'll have an odd size sitting right next to it and it won't be marked sometimes. So just make sure it's the right one that you're grabbing. And don't be fooled by the $2.99 minus the dollar minus the dollar. Make sure you subtract your coupons first and be prepared to pay $1.99 before you get the rewards back. So those times is what you have to pay specific attention to to make sure you're paying attention to how they, they write their ads. Same thing goes with the balance rewards. They do the same exact thing. They'll put two for four and you have to buy two to get your thousand points, which is a dollar. And it's like paying two for three dollars. You're not going to pay that at the register because you're counting in your points you're going to earn. But they're hoping people don't pay attention to that and they're hoping you're going to buy it anyway. And some people do. But their specific craft is only going on with that sale was only certain things. The nine ounce Velveeta, the homestyle macaroni and cheese. They're very specific to their sizes because they want you to pick up the wrong size. So in my opinion, Walgreens is a little tricky. I think their ads are a little trickier than the rest because they're very specific about their sizes, they're very specific about their sales, and they like to tell you what you're going to be paying afterwards, which is fine if you're paying attention. So make sure you have the coupons that they say you are gonna have. Make sure you check to make sure there's no coupons online you can use. And as long as you pay attention to that and you buy your specific items, you're good to go. Now with Walgreens though, I can tell you, unlike CVS, sometimes you don't have to buy two to get the $4 sale price. With Walgreens, you have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about Walgreens. It will be $2.49 each if you don't buy the two for four. And you also won't get your points back if you don't buy two. But just make sure that you're paying attention to those two. You, you can't break it up to get a deal at Walgreens. So we covered pretty much everything about the pharmacies. There's, there's tons of information about pharmacies out there and those are usually the ones people like to start with even though they are expensive. But CVS is a popular one to start with. I recommend Rite Aid because I think once you hit Rite Aid and do, get used to Rite Aid, they're pretty easy to deal with. But either way, either one, Walgreens is a last minute one to start. But we can also get into the dollar stores. Man, I don't know how many times I've gone into Dollar Tree and people see me taking out coupons and they, they ask, I didn't know Dollar Tree takes coupons. Well, yes, they do. Um, just because they're a dollar doesn't mean there's not coupons out there for, the, for them. A lot of times you'll find 50 cents off coupons. A lot of VO5 is out there, coupons for that, and that's always in the dollar store. So even if it's 50 cents off, it's 50 cents off. So they do take coupons. It's just a matter of finding the right sizes for the coupons. A lot of times the trial and travel sizes are carried in the Dollar Tree. So just make sure you know you check your sizes when it comes to the Dollar Tree and you check your uh, the right products and the name brands and that kind of stuff. But they do take them. Dollar General and Family Dollar, of course, aren't really dollar stores in my opinion, but they fit in dollar, the dollar store category. So we cover them anyway. All the ads run Sunday to Saturday for Dollar Tree and Dollar General. When it comes to Family Dollar, they actually run Tuesday to Monday. So they're just a little off with that. Um, not too much, but they're a little, little off. But Dollar Tree and Dollar General do run the normal Sunday to Saturday times. And you will find for Dollar General and Family Dollar specifically, uh, the two to three day event holidays, usually around Memorial Day weekend, they'll have good sales on uh, when you have an extra day off, usually from school or work that they do that. They, they have those good sale weeks. Uh, Soda is usually on sale and stuff like that during that time. So that's the time to grab some of those big deals. The good part about all these stores is they don't have any rewards card. But Dollar General and Family Dollar recently, finally, in the past couple years, have jumped into the digital world and actually have a digital account online. 
you sign up online there's no card required so when you go into store you're going to use your phone number um, I can see some issues with that down the road with everybody and their changing phone numbers but for now it seems to be working so once you have a, an account signed up you can just put your phone number in at the register and have your coupons come off easy so it's all digital doesn't mean you can't use paper coupons but the digital coupons are there to, as manufacturers coupons to use at least one time so if you need to buy more things you're gonna have to paper coupons for the more of them but for the most part you at least have access to one coupon for certain items and sometimes there are store coupons sometimes there are this is the example of Dollar General site, they do have the access to the coupons, they do have their weekly ad sections, and you can check online for all the, the digital coupons. They also have a 5 off 25 coupon that comes out, um, so it usually comes out in the middle of the week for Saturday. So if you spend $25 before coupons, you can take your $5 off. And that you'll find that in the digital section, sometimes you'll find it on your receipt. So there's a couple different places you can find it, but if you don't get one on your receipt and you don't shop there often on the bottom of your receipt, you can always check online and see if they have it to load to your card. They also give away a ten, two dollars off a ten every once in a while, so you might want to keep an eye out online for that. They also have digital store coupons, so if you see the digital store coupon on the top, little logo on the top of one of your digital coupons, you may find that. Uh, this is, there's a store coupon available, so definitely clip those too. With Family Dollar, they're really new to this digital world. They used to do it where you text the number and everything too, which they finally, I'm glad they finally got rid of that, because that was absolutely horrible. They finally jumped onto this just recently. But it's the same thing as Dollar General. It's logging in, seeing your load to card, and you can actually just clip the clip the coupon, and it'll take it off at checkout. But any for any of these, all you have to do is click on them, and you'll see the details of it. And you can see that it has manufacturer's re, the retailer information on it, so you know it's a manufacturer's coupon. It still has the expiration date loaded for you, and it does warn you when things are expiring. Uh, most of the stores do that now, so that's helpful. But you just go on, you clip your coupons, you should make sure you use the same make sure you use the same phone number at checkout that you loaded everything to, and you're good to go. It should come off. But these are usually only good for one, so make sure you do it once and then if you haven't if you want to buy more, make sure you have paper coupons to cover the rest of them. Thank goodness some of them are coming to the digital world. It's, it's about time. <clears throat> So the next one, the three the three dollar stores are covered. The next one are the big box stores. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's not easy to talk for two hours, especially in a warm room right now. It's kind of warm in here. Um, <coughs> so the big box stores, the bigger stores, Target, Walmart, and Kmart, they all run their ads Sunday to Saturday. So again, we're keeping up with the Sunday to Saturday except for Family Dollar so far, which is fine because it makes it a lot easier to kind of gather them all together at the same time and plan out my trip. The rewards though, when it comes to Target, they do do rewards, but they're usually gift cards. So it's usually offering the same type of reward system that the pharmacies have, but they have it where it's you buy a certain amount and you buy three of these items and you get a $5 gift card which is great because one, they don't expire, at least you can hang on to them. Two, you can give them as gifts if you really wanted to. If you had a bunch of leftover ones that you didn't have a gift for, gift cards, great, great, you have it already. Um, so that works out perfect. I think it's the only other reward system that actually doesn't expire. When it comes to the other ones, they all expire some way. And then you have, a, the Walmart. Walmart does e-gift cards online and I'm sure most of you, even if you are experienced couponers, have not really been familiar with this too much. So just bear with me and I'll show you a little bit about this. But they do have e-gift cards online every once in a while. But you have to search for them. You may have to put in Google uh, e-gift cards Walmart. So check that. See if that works out for you. See if there's any out there. 
they're random so it's not like you can they're not posted anywhere you just kind of have to look for them and they'll do the same kind of thing it's usually like buy certain products at Walmart by this time and you'll get so much back once you upload your a picture of your receipt kind of like an app I guess and you also have Kmart which has shop your way which is kind of similar to Rite, Aid, Rite Aid with their plenty program where it actually has more places where you don't have to just shop at Kmart you can shop everywhere or there's a bunch of different places so you can actually earn rewards from other places too and we'll talk a lot more about that in a little bit when it comes to the apps though they each have their own separate apps now Target has Cartwheel which is different than the Target app you can have the Target app and then you can have Cartwheel app when it comes to Cartwheel we'll talk a little bit about that too because that's a bonus on top of the store coupons and on top of the manufacturers coupons Target actually gives you a third way to save which is a lot better than all the other stores with only two. Walmart has a thing, an app called the Savings Catcher. And with that, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is shop at Walmart. Once you're done, you have a receipt that has a barcode at the bottom. So Walmart Savings Catcher, you log in, and it's, it's the Walmart app too. You can just download the Walmart app and scan your receipt. Once you scan your receipt, it will take the next day, and it will check any local stores to see if there's anything... Um, lower price than Walmart and if there is they'll give you the difference on a gift card so they'll load it into your account and you'll have this uh, amount loaded onto your account to use in store it's just like a gift card to spend in the next one so that's great that I guess is in place of the whole price matching that they don't do anymore so um, if you I mean if, if you still shop at Walmart even after the price matching which I'm not a big shopper anymore since they did away with price matching that I, I use the savings catcher when I do finally shop there. And Kmart has the Kmart app and the Shop Your Way app. So again, there's two different apps with them too. Hopefully you have enough room on your phone because sometimes I don't, <laughs> which makes it very difficult to have all of these apps for all of these stores. And I have to delete one to load another one at times. It's, it's what I do when it comes to shopping at the different places. But so hopefully a lot of you have room. When it comes to price matching and ad matching now, price matching is a little different than ad matching. When it comes to ad matching, and they use the two terms sometimes interchangeably, but price matching usually means they'll price match online and price match in the ads. So you can sometimes go onto certain websites and you can find a better price and they will price match that. In other stores, they won't do that. Other stores, they may only price match the ads and the physical ads of the week in the local area and usually it's within a 50 mile radius so as long as you have a store within 50 mile radius of you and it's a good deal you can show them their ad and that means they'll ad match it with target they ad match and the online price match still so they're still in the game with online price matching the only problem is you have to read their policy and see exactly what they ad match and what they price match usually 50 miles for the ad match and when it comes to online, they only price match certain online places. So check the policies to make sure you're at least price matching the right places. Walmart has just recently done away with all their price matching and their ad matching. So the savings catcher works great, but Walmart online does price match. So if you're ordering something from online, you can contact them and get them to change the prices if they have a better deal in store and it shows up that way or if they have a better deal of an online retailer so basically if you think about it this way Walmart online is going to price match anything that's online um, so that's great that was something I, I, I just found pretty much found out about but you have to read their policy because again they're, they're specific about what places they will online price match but they do cover a lot so you do have a lot of options but if you're ever planning on ordering from Walmart and it's free shipping or something like that, you might as well order online and price match it because you can't do it in store anymore. One of the questions everybody always checks about is Big Lots too. Big Lots is in my big box store section, but it doesn't accept coupons. They're already considered a low bottom dollar cost place, so um, they don't they don't take coupons. Every once in a while, you can still find a good deal there on other things and on their clearances, and they do have clearances as low as 90% off sometimes, so you can't go wrong with that. 
So here's a list of some of the other stores that still do their ad matching and price matching. So um, if you're not familiar with any of these stores, you might want to check your Google Staples ad matching and price matching policies and check out their policies. But there's a bunch of stores out there that still do it. So just because we lost Walmart doesn't mean it's the end of the world. There's a bunch of other places out there that do it. Um, and if you take a look, they're probably ones you've probably shopped at and just never realized it. There's a few on there that I shop at and I forget that they price match. So it's always, you know, it always helps to ask if you're in store and you're not sure and you find a better price. There's times I'm in a store and I know that there's a better sale somewhere else and I'm like, oh, do I really have to run to that other store just to get that price? Um, there's been times when I'm, I, I just ask, like, will you price match this? And it's like, oh, yeah, they, yeah, we do here. Okay, well, that's great. I don't have to leave this store and go to the other one just for one or two things. Um, so check with your stores. So this is what the saving star, or, I mean, the savings catcher from Walmart looks like. Um, on the top left, that's what they show. They'll show you the breakdown of your entire receipt, what you bought, and how much it cost in the store and how much it costs in another store locally. And once it matches, it will show you if there's any difference and it'll credit your account. So in the very early beginning when I did all this, they they had a lot of price matching going on and I had $6 back just from uploading my receipt that some of them I didn't even catch myself because usually I'm pretty good about paying attention to where the sales are. But I mean, it didn't hurt to upload my receipt and check. So I did and found out a pretty good deal. On the bottom right, there's an example of their e-gift card deals, when the, the rebate things that I talk, talked a little bit about. In this case, it was specifically this Borders brand, which was an off-brand that obviously was trying to get a little bit of attention. They wanted you to buy a certain amount, I think it was five, in a transaction in a certain date period time. Then you snap a picture and email it, and then you got cash back, which would email it would email it to you as a gift card, and you would print out just this this paper from your email and use it as a gift card. It had a barcode and everything on it, like cash, and it was good to go. You, you could use it like cash at Walmart. So those are the ones to keep an eye out for. The only way to find them, just Google search if there's a Walmart rebate. So Kmart, there's a lot involved with Kmart, but I'm gonna cover the, the overall gist of Kmart because um, I'm kind of excited about Kmart and I never would have thought things were possible. You know how we get we get a lot of personal care items for free. We get toothpaste for free. We get all that kind of stuff for free. But if everybody knew that you could get clothes for free, uh, I get kids toys for free. I had diapers for free. I had baby wash for free. I had teethers for free. Um, I had tons of stuff. Have, over the past couple of years just tons of stuff from Kmart for free I usually don't pay for Christmas gifts because they're all free at Kmart but if everybody knew this you'd be shopping at Kmart all the time uh, but shop your way is the program for Kmart and with that also comes a personal shopper so for those of you who've heard about a personal shopper and just are completely clueless about it um, it costs absolutely nothing to you it means it's just you could use them as much as you want, ask them questions about Shop Your Way, um, talk to them at, about orders if you're planning on a, you're trying to shop for somebody or having trouble shopping for somebody, you can ask them questions about that. There's pretty much nothing you cannot do, at least in my part, because I'm a personal shopper, but I represent the nonprofit. So when I'm doing it, everything that I get from the commission when it comes to this, I work basically for Shop Your Way as a, as a independent consultant for it. So I'm doing all the work to help you get the best deals through Kmart and through Sears and through any Shop Your Way programs. They give me a commission off of what you purchase and then it goes into the nonprofit. So it's actually, we're actually signed up as the nonprofit and it's not even necessarily me. But um, I'm here to help you get the best deals is what we do. The good part about it is it's free for you one, it helps the nonprofit too, and three, you actually get bonus things for having a personal shopper. So you'll get better discounts on your points, you'll get better uh, coupons, we send up coupons that are exclusive to only clients, so you get those extras and bonuses just for having, and I won't ever bother you if you don't want me to, 
I will send you coupons and that's about it. I won't, I won't go out of my way to spam you or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. But just if you want to sign up that way, you can sign up with a personal shopper. I suggest you have one, if not me, any, whatever. But at least have one. We all can do the same thing. We all can send you the same stuff. So nobody can do anything over the other. Um, so you can sign up with anybody. But my link is at the top there if you wanted to sign up under me. And you do get extra bonuses for having it. When you go to shop your way, the way to start Kmart is if you already have a card, you can log in and put your card information in so that you have your Shop Your Way account linked to your card. If you don't have a Kmart card and you haven't signed up yet, you can sign up with your email and online just as easy. You have your personal shopper information when you log in. You have a member card where you can print and it's in the tiny little spot in the corner. You just All you have to do is click on that and it'll come up with a little card and it'll show you um, your card information and a PIN number and you I what I do is I print it out so I have it in store but if you don't want to print it out you can also download the Shop Your Way app or Kmart app and you'll have the card information right there they can scan at the register that's an option or you can use your phone number just like most of the other stores so you got three different ways um, let me just add my link to the Shop Your Way there and so we're asking about it. And, whoops. It's not that easy to type when you see yourself in the corner. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. my link to the comment so um, hopefully you get that there we go popped up for me all right I'm just making sure the links on there um, so the personal shopper information is all on there your member card should be easy to access you can do it on the app or you can do it just by printing it or with your phone number and then you also have all your account information at the top it'll tell you how many points you have sometimes when you first join they'll give you three dollars on points a month um, they say a month, but I'm telling you, if when you first join, sometimes you get it a couple times a month. So you have to check. I usually say Tuesday and Thursday. If you check Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're good to hit them. But you have to make sure you catch them because those sometimes will disappear in a few days. So as long as you catch them, that's great. I got all of my daughter's baby stuff for free, like the the baby wash and stuff like that was all like $2.99 at Kmart. So for $3, I got free baby wash and just collected that before she was born. So all that kind of stuff was stuff that I would normally have to pick up and I planned ahead a little bit with the three dollars got t all those things for free. There's a section for points and those are usually those weird points that you earn on making purchases but I'm telling you right now that if you never make a purchase at Kmart you still get points. So as long as you use your points or you stay somewhat active in your account you'll get points. There's also a section for surprise points, which is a little different. They're like coupons, $5 off of um, 15 sometimes in toys, or they'll be um, $20 or, you know, $10 off of 20 in clothing. There's all kinds of weird surprise points you get, and everybody gets something different. So if you, if you get some that are 5 off 25, somebody else may not have anything like that. So you just have to check your own account. You can't go by what somebody else has. And again, if you check it Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're guaranteed to hit a pretty decent one there. And anytime you have a good one, definitely use them. So there's times we get five off five, sometimes 10 off 10. A lot of times around the holidays, we've seen as much as 20 off of 20, which as long as you spent $20 or more, you got $20 free. You can't beat that. So check them out too. So that's what I mean. You don't even need to spend much. And there's times when I don't need to spend anything just to get something for free. I have blenders that I got for free and mixers. I start thinking about the 20 off of 20 and I realize uh, I have a lot of my appliances that are that were free. Same thing with my utensils, my all my cooking utensils and my eating utensils. They were all free from Kmart because of points they just gave. I'm not going to argue with free. So then how do you really get started with this free stuff? 
one, you can download the app called Win It. But make sure, this is funny, because make sure you have that little tag that looks like the W at the top. Make sure you have that when you look for your Win It app. Because there's supposedly another app called Win It that has a whole different thing, but it's, it's something else. It's completely different. And people have downloaded that thinking it was this one. But make sure it's the one that looks like this. What you'll do is you'll spin daily for five, for 10 things that you want to win. And worst case scenario, you lose and it takes you a couple seconds to go through each one. And, or best case scenario, you win. Most of the time people win anywhere from five cents, 10 cents, all the way up to $5 on this. If you notice that this, this is a thousand points, which is probably what you'll win at least once a week. They have, um, a thousand points is a dollar so you'll have a dollar automatically in your account a week on average I think I might win about seven dollars a week give or take some obviously some weeks are better than others and some wins are better than others but seven dollars for a week right now I have ten dollars in points in my account and I couldn't even tell you how I want it I just know that I've been winning and it's been adding up and now I have ten dollars to spend um, which reminds me I have to spend sometime this week because some of them expire but that's how I did it. I won some things on there. Now what I'm going to do is everything that I won on on the Win It app, I'm going to combine it with my surprise points because if I have a 5 off of 10 in toys and surprise points, I'm going to get the $10 on free points that I have already. I'm going to get $5 off and I'll only spend $5 of my points to get $10 worth of toys. So on that case, I'm going to kind of stack those surprise points with my regular points and see if I can make a better deal out of it. And if you notice on the top middle, you've won what you want. People are winning like crazy out there. So somebody's got to win these things. If you pick something you want to win, it doesn't hurt to try. It takes a couple seconds to try it. It's completely free and you may win what you want. And a lot of people are winning. So definitely do it. The other way to win points is if you just go online or on their app and go through the sweeps section. There's a section where you can actually do instant win. And I don't know if I can point to it, but the instant win section has um, just instant wins just like the win it app. You spin it and try to win it and then if you win, you win points and if you don't win, then you just try again tomorrow, right? So there's lots of different ways you can just earn those little points and they're great to use if you have a 20 off a of 20 deal on surprise points and you buy something that's a little over $20 but you have the $5 you just won. It'll help cover that little extra cost that you didn't have to have before. There's been times when I was 50 cents short or something like that on a deal where if I had to pay 50 cents, I would have to pay tax and everything else at Kmart and I don't want to do that because it would turn out to be a lot more. And I just played the win it's or the instant wins and the win it's and the sweepstakes real quick to see if I could win that 50 cents and won it so that I, it was completely free. So 50 cents is 50 cents, but if I can just win it, I won't, why pay for it, right? So you can earn free points for having a personal shopper, for playing the sweepstakes, for playing win it. There's also the partner offers that people link their card to go, go eat at Burger King and you earn points just for using your card at Burger King. Um, and then of course the surprise points are bonus points, like bonus coupons. So there's tons of ways to shop at Kmart without even spending a dime. Alright, so I wanted to cover, of course, Shop Your Ways a little more than the others, but um, those box, the big box stores. Alright, so let's talk about the grocery stores. Grocery is probably most popular because everybody wants to save with food. We have to buy food, so of course that's where you want to save the most. The problem with food sometimes is people expect to, that they're going to save about as much as you would with personal care stuff which usually you can get for 50 cents to free so um, you really can't get that big of a deal on it but you can get some pretty good deals even saving 50 percent is a good deal with grocery stores but we're going to cover some of them and i don't know how many of you are watching that aren't from kentucky but hopefully you do have a meyer and kroger because we're going to cover meyer and kroger um, but of course there's tons of other grocery stores out there that we aren't going to have time to cover. This is already two hours long so we don't want to do overwhelm you with too many grocery stores. But they're all 
generally about the same. And these are the two top popular ones in Kentucky, in this area. So with Meyer, um, you have M perks. Sign up online, use your your card in, or not your card, sorry, there's no card with Meyer. there's just a phone number, and then you use a PIN. You'll have a four digit PIN to sign up with, and you can just use that in store to check out. That's just an extra savings, be careful, security thing for Meyer so that nobody else uses your phone number and uses your rewards. And then you have Kroger where you can either sign up in store and get the card, which most of you probably already, if you're near a Kroger, probably have the card and at least know about the digital coupons. But make sure you have those both rewards. If you're used to shopping at Kroger and you have a Meyer close, don't be afraid to check out Meyer because Meyer does have a different rewards program that Kroger doesn't have. So uh, that we'll cover here in a minute, but just be open to try both of them because you never know. Aldi's is another one that a lot people love for their produce and everything like that, and that's great. But Aldi's doesn't take coupons, so it's just one of those ones that I kind of like. Eh, well, it's a last-minute store, and if if I'm getting like an off-brand sugar because I don't care what sugar tastes like really, it seems all the same to me. Um, I'll stop at like Save a Lot or Aldi's because it doesn't matter to me either way on that one. But when it comes to weekly ads, Aldi's, Kroger, and Whole Foods they run Wednesday to Tuesday so it kind of gives you a break from that boring Sunday to Saturday type deal that all the other places do but they run Wednesday to Tuesday so it's off off a little bit and then Meyer and Save a Lot are back to the Sunday to Saturday so the good part about Meyer and Kroger being the two top grocery stores is you can almost alternate their deals you can focus on Meyer and see if there's a good deal going on starting Sunday and then you can take a break and start on Wednesday for the Kroger deal. So I like that you can break it up between the two. It at least gives you a break in between. So just to touch up real quick, on the left there's a Whole Foods coupon. If you go, if you like Whole Foods and um, some of the people I know like natural foods, like Whole Foods, if you're looking for that type of food, you can find coupons for their store on their website. So there are store coupons available for Whole Foods. Just go to their website and check out their coupon section. If you're also like me and was a huge Save A Lot shopper, in the, especially early before couponing, they have a Smart Shoppers Club. You sign up online and you get email coupons or you get email information. So you can do that from their website. Most of the time it may be like a five off 25 type coupon. But uh, that's pretty much all we've ever seen is the 5 off 25 coupon, but it's worth signing up for to see if you're going to get something like that. You can also check their Facebook page because they do advertise every once in a while on their Facebook page that 5 off 25 coupon or something like that. But they take other coupons too, so even if you get the 5 off 25 coupon and you have manufacturer's coupons, go ahead and use them too because they do take coupons even though I never think of Save a Lot as coupon place uh, you just have to find it's like the Dollar Tree you just have to find those name brands in the middle of everything else so that's the trick to it but they will take them if you do find something and then of course Kroger the big one everybody loves Kroger Kroger's the, the the big shopping store in fact it's the number one when we did some surveys and stuff on the area and people shopped at Kroger more than anything else. That was their place they want to know about. So if you haven't already, definitely join Kroger, get their card, and start learning about their load to card coupons. One of the questions that's always asked is, can I use a digital coupon for Kroger and a manufacturer's coupon? The answer is usually no. A lot of them actually say when you click on it for the full details, they usually say that you cannot use paper coupons with the digital coupons most of them are manufacturers coupons and it's rare I think that I've ever seen a store coupon at Kroger so just be aware that you can't use stack both if you see the details section and it does come up that way um, and a store coupon it's bonus for you but it's very very rare make sure they're loaded before you go to the store or before while you're in the store to make sure they come off at registers and check your receipts when you leave to make sure they did come off 
if they didn't come off, you can always go to the customer service, show them that it's on your card and loaded, and most of the time they're pretty good about letting you know or taking it off for you, giving the re the return the amount back, something like that. But just check your receipts at the end. They are usually only good for one, so if you're only buying one item, that's great. If you need to buy more, make sure you have paper coupons for the other ones that you're purchasing on top of that one. But every once in a while they have these new events that go on where you can use some of them up to five times. But you have to, it has to say that on the actual digital coupon. So check to make sure it says up to five times or use limit of five times. Uh, but one of the things I want to point out is if you use it, say I went in today and I wanted to buy these um, pizzas that were you could use up to five times. If I used it five times, it's gone. If I used it three times, it's gone. If I used it two times, it's gone. So it's just one time use though. So even if I walked in and only bought one of them, it would be gone after that. Whether I used it the five times or not, it still would be gone. So if you're going to buy five, you have to do it that first time in that transaction. I hope that makes sense. But you just can't, you can't use, you have to use it that first time. If you don't, it's gone. And a lot of people, I think, mistake that sometimes. They'll try to go in and get two, and then they'll come back and try to get the other three, and after they used it for that first two, it's gone. You can't, you can't do a second transaction. You lose your coupon. But you'll be able to see your digital coupons just by load, logging into your account now. Um, they also have click lists now, which you can order online and pick up in store. They shop for you, so that, that's a great thing. I haven't used it yet. A lot of people rave about it, but I do use click list. I don't order from it, but I use it as a price matching guide or a price checking guide. Um, so when I'm not sure a price in the store, especially when people post on the groups and stuff, and I'm not sure about our price, I will check from ClickList and see what it is. The only difference is if it's like one of those buy five, save five deals, which are great, they don't have the amount after the five. So you're not sure, unless you know if it's on the buy five, save five, you're not really sure if you're going to take off another dollar. So that's the only problem with that. But normal prices and sale prices, it will, it will let you know what the price is. You can also check your fuel points on there. So check your fuel points every once in a while and see how many you have. If you don't already do it, do the surveys at the bottom of your receipt. It's 50 points for every survey. survey. And you can do one a week. So if you set a schedule for, say, Friday, because that's your off day or your um, not-so-busy day, set a schedule for Friday and do, do a survey every Friday. That way you don't forget. You can also hang on to your receipts. Sometimes at the bottom of the receipts it says you can only do it in seven days, but you can do one every seven days, but it can be an old receipt. So if you have old receipts with it on there, you can use them up first and do the surveys on the bottom of them. Even if you've done, you know, your even if you've done a survey today and hang on to it for next week, a second receipt you got today, Hang on to it for next week and do the survey from that. So that's pretty much Kroger's. Kroger's big thing is the coupons, the digital coupons, and that's a huge help, especially when you do the free Friday download every Friday with their free coupon. Download it Friday and you can use it in the next couple weeks in the store. But that's the, a huge hit there is their digital coupons. Meyer goes a little bit above Kroger and tries to compete a little bit more with Kroger I think uh, by having they have the clipped coupons they have the coupons just like you do with Kroger but Meyer actually has store coupons in the middle of their manufacturers coupons so it's a little extra bonus there and they also have rewards they have a thing called M perks and if you just go to mperks.meyer.com it'll bring you directly to the M perks site so if you haven't logged in and started the, that account it's easy to do online because it's just using your phone number and the pin so you can sign up there's no card involved you just can sign up anytime now the good part about it is they give you a section for coupons they give you a section for re your rewards and what you're going to earn and how to keep track of that and how much you did earn and then it also have a, has a section for your receipts and savings so you'll actually get a digital PDF version of your receipts every time you use your your account when you check out. It's great. You'll have access to your savings for the year. You'll have access to your receipts. If you ever miss a receipt or something like that, they have access to where you can add that to it if you forgot to use your M perks at checkout. And they'll give you the rewards for all that. 
So um, they're on top of the whole digital thing and it works perfect. If you notice, since they do have manufacturers and store coupons mixed in, the only way to tell the difference is once you click on your digital coupons and you see your coupons, you'll see a section like the top one, I circled it there, it says store coupon. The bottom one I circled, it says manufacturer's coupon. So you can tell the difference and some of them will stack together if they, if they match pretty well. So definitely check them out. And the store coupons are great when it comes to matching up some of the other. They have the shoes, they have clothes, they have toys, they have automotive coupons. And then, of course, if there's a reward, you can match your coupons up with your rewards and get back money for your total amount out. So here's what the clipped coupons for Meyer looks like. You, you must clip your coupons for them to earn. Now the difference with the rewards are, you can look at your rewards while you're in your account, but the rewards start earning now when you make a qualifying purchase. So on the left, it's $4 off your next shopping trip after you spend $100 or more in general merchandise. So if I was just, just shopping clothing and all those general and the shoes and everything else, it would start tracking my total amount before coupons and before rewards and everything else. It would start tracking up to $100, but I, it will start tracking as soon as I make some kind of purchase that fits that category. So as long as I make a purchase of clothing or something, it will start adding it on, throwing it into an account. So then when I go back into my account, it'll start, it'll show me that I started earning it and it'll tell me how much I have left to earn before I get my rewards. Like right now, I think I'm a dollar forty-five away from earning a two dollar reward for something. So as long as it's tracking me, I can now count. It, it starts counting down to what I need before I earn it. Once I earn it, it'll be clipped into my uh, account and I can go on there and see what I've earned and how much I have. So that next time when I go into the store, it'll pop up on the screen in the self-checkout do you want to use your points and you can say yes or no depending on you know whether you want to use it at the time and decide whether you want you want to use your rewards but at least Meyer has the option now to have rewards unlike Kroger Kroger just doesn't have that extra bonus they'll have rewards on um, gift cards they have rewards on apparel like in this case these two qualifying purchases would be I could get apparel and shoes on the same thing and I would earn four dollars back for a hundred on apparel and four dollars back on a hundred dollars in general merchandise so I'd have to hit the exclusions to see maybe maybe clothing may fit in both categories and I may earn eight dollars once I hit a hundred so um, sometimes it does overlap like that you may get lucky like that sometimes we get different ones than somebody else um, it just all depends sometimes it's about what you shop for sometimes it's for everybody but it's an option So in the last class, we talked a little bit about the Catalina coupons, and if you notice, the Catalina coupons don't just come out with coupons. They come out with the rebates, like on the top. It's not a coupon, it's just an advertisement. So just those are the kind you hang on to just to see what's coming up and to see if there's a deal going on. But it'll give the requirements and the details on it, and it'll give you the information that it's not a coupon, but that it's just telling you about a deal that's going to come up. So in that case, it just happens to be Gerber cereals. Um, it's just advertising for you for those cereal deals. The one at the bottom, though, you may see a coupon that comes out similar to the Huggies coupon that came out at Meyer. Just hang on to them because they're usually expiration a little longer than a lot of the other places, so you can hang on to them and use them later. <coughs> um, but it says Meyer on it. The difference is it's a manufacturer's coupon at the top. So which is it? Is it from a Meyer or is it manufacturer's? And this is a big confusion sometimes. A lot of people think you can only use it at Meyer. In this case, because it's a manufacturer's coupon, if you flipped or if you saw above the the barcode, it does have an address for the the for the store to redeem the coupon. So it is a manufacturer's coupon and they'll get their money from anywhere. So you can use your manufacturer's coupon anywhere. So these Catalinas that print with Meyer on them or the ones that print with Kroger on them should be taken at other stores with no problem. The only exception would be CVS because in CVS's coupon policy, they don't allow you to use a coupon that has another store logo on it. And in this case, it's 
a store logo was kind of advertised on it so they would look at it and not take it but that's the only store that has it in their policy or mentions it anywhere that they won't take it if you were to scan this anywhere else it should scan just like any other coupon no problem barcode should be the same as pretty much a regular coupon so there should be no issues um, when you're checking the online coupon, any online coupon will have product details if you click an extra step to see the coupon. And most of the time there, that's when they'll tell you if it's store, the manufacturer, they'll give you more details about what it's excluded. Uh, just to be careful to make sure that when you go to check out that you don't make the mistake of grabbing the wrong thing or, you know, it expired and it was too late or something like that. But that's, that'll give you more details there. You, just, you can just click one more time and it'll give you the full details of the coupon. All right, so take a breath. <laughs> that is a lot of information about stores. Um, I, you, you can see we could probably go on and on and on about all the stores out there. If you kind of take one store at a time, take your time and kind of learn each store at a time, learn the registers, check out, uh, do a little bit you know, at a time in each store and learn the rewards, check the online accounts, do different things from each store you'll be fine. So don't overwhelm yourself with all of the, all of the store information. But I just kind of wanted to give you an overall general for you an idea. Some of them, some of you might be familiar with each store or you might be familiar with one but just didn't know something about one of them. So I just wanted to cover a general thing about that. But as far as coupons go, if you downloaded the materials in downloaded the materials that was in our event, you should have gotten an insert schedule. And you should have gotten a list of coupons or places to find coupons. One of the tips I like to say is that if you're very new to couponing, if you start with one or two newspapers or sets of inserts a week, that's a good place to start. Usually two because it's better to have pairs in case there's a buy one get one sale or a buy one get one free sale or something like that. That's the best thing to do is buy in pairs. If you as you get better at it, you can start getting one, one set per adult in your household or per person in your household. It's usually the general rule so that you don't overdo it with too many people and too many newspapers. If you start that way in the beginning, you're going to get frustrated. So just take your time and build up to that amount. If you have a bunch of people, just take your time and do it. If you see the insert schedule and you downloaded the insert schedule and even if you haven't you can always google insert 2017 insert schedule and it should come up but once you have it you'll be able to see ahead of time what inserts are coming out if we have png coming that week or if we have um, five inserts versus the two we got last week that's the time when you can add a couple newspapers in or do something a little bit more you'll have a little better coupons that week but you definitely don't want to double up on those weeks that we only get one insert because a lot of times the one insert is not worth it. You also want to keep an eye out for the insert schedule when there's no inserts on holidays. Uh, sometimes the holiday may fall on a Monday and we may not get the inserts on the Sunday, but the insert schedule will tell you whether or not we get it. So if we, if it says on there no inserts, you won't be out looking for buying newspapers or something and expecting it and have nothing there or buy newspapers and have nothing in them. So just keep an eye out for that schedule to make sure you're picking it up on the right weeks. Also on that list uh, in the materials section of the coupons, there's a whole list of places that you can print from. There's going to be a list of places like coupons.com and smartsource.com and redplum.com those and the pgeveryday.com. That is all the coupon inserts that go out. They also have their ways to print. So coupon.com is a little exception because that's like the number one printing site that has a cover of a lot of different brands of coupons and types of coupons. So you can pretty much start there if you haven't printed a coupon yet. In the On the back of that sheet that you have, it will also give you a list of tips about these printable coupons. Most of these places have limits of two prints per coupon or per device. So if you have a couple di different devices in your house, you can print two for each one. That's usually the limit. Sometimes it's one. So depending on how that works, you have to be careful. Um, 
they it, it won't let you print if you if it won't allow you more than two it won't allow you more than two it'll tell you you already printed your limit and okay that's it the reason they do that is because when they print they do print with different numbers on them so that they cut down on the fraud coupons.com has been dealing with this for a while so they're pretty familiar with trying to keep ahead of the fraud it doesn't always work but that's why they limit you the two prints per device so that you can make sure you don't photocopy you just use your coupons that you're allowed and that's it so check out coupons.com the smartsource.com and the png every day uh, and redplum.com those are the main sites but you also have other sites out there that you can sign in with and what i mean by sign in sites is you usually have to have an account they usually ask you the first time your address and all this crazy information because they that's their way of keeping up with who, who's printing and not overusing it so usually it's like an email address and that's it but pick up the values is one of them and there's a few more on that list on that paper that I have and you can um, go through all of them sign in sometimes they're the same way sometimes they'll limit you to two per account per computer so in these cases sometimes the only way for you to get more than two prints is to have a separate account and a separate device so if I were to log in with my account on my computer I might have to have my husband log in with his account on another computer to be able to get a separate two two more prints so that might be a little more hassle than it's worth for some of those but just those are options out there and those sites that I have listed on that materials page uh, that coupons page is some other popular ones that you can use the good part about it is if it's a like pick up the values if you sign into that sometimes you can get like Huggies coupons there and at the same time coupons.com might have Huggies coupons and then Huggies.com might have Huggies coupons that you may be able to print each device more than twice one from each site coupons.com pick up the values or Huggies so you can it is possible to get a few more than two sometimes but sometimes not sometimes they're all linked so you just may get lucky and you may not it's not it's worth a try though all right so on to comparing some of the prices now I cover this because we tend to fall towards a lot of advertising but again going back to the advertising on the, the ads I like to bring attention to it because we don't want to fall for that we're, we're too we're too smart to pay attention to all these deals especially when we're trying to save money we don't want to fall for that so on the left you have the Dollar General has a digital coupon for 50 cents off and their Dollar General sale price for AngelSoft 16 count was 550 after the digital coupon on the right was a Meyer deal 10 for 10 get the 11th free now in the case of the right angel soft bath tissue that same package is on sale at Dollar General all the time for a dollar so even if this wasn't going on at the same time the 10 for 10 deal a dollar a piece at, at Meyer they still would have this dollar deal at Dollar General even with this other one going on so coupons for the digital are just an advertisement it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the only one out there so they just want you to say it's easy if you don't get the coupons in the newspaper you can shop here using the digital coupons but it doesn't always mean you have to shop there if you hang on to the newspapers if you had the coupon in the newspaper the 50 cent coupon then you can use it somewhere else or you can even buy two of them one with the digital and one with the paper so just you know check your newspapers to see if you have them too then you don't have to shop at that place so 550 doing the math with price comparison and, and unit price remembering back in second grade or whatever grade we did unit price in 550 for 16 rolls with the coupon off turns out to be 34 cents a roll now you could split that up and say that it's double rolls so that would still be 17 cents a roll so 17 cents a roll um, if you wanted to say that they're the large roll because we're we're gonna assume that they are double sized the other ones because they are even though there's some there's some research about that might not be so true but we'll just assume they're right with how they're advertising a little um, we'll take the dollar four pack 
and we'll take the 45 cent off coupon because even with 45 cents off is the normal one that goes around to the newspaper even if we don't get the 50 cents we'll go with the 45 and we'll even give them a break so 55 cents for four rolls comes out to 14 cents a roll so even at the double roll price we're still getting a better deal by going with the dollar pack uh, so let's just think about that and let that set in for just a second when we buy in bulk everybody thinks buying in bulk is great and it is sometimes it is sometimes buying the bigger packs does get us the better deal but the only way to figure that out is make sure you do the math and divide it by how many rolls so 550 divided by 16 rolls gives you 34 cents a roll 55 cents divided by four rolls is 14 cents a roll so make sure you do that math before you make the plans to make the big purchase and it may seem easier to stock and pick up only one pack of the 16 count and that's up to you if you want to pay the extra price for the convenience of picking up one big pack or you can pick up four of the smaller packs so that's that part is completely up to you but I want you to see the difference when it comes to doing the math and at adding up the prices together and that doesn't go for I mean that goes for pretty much everything when it comes to toilet paper okay we can see the roll difference but let's just do it with liquids and stuff like Dawn and the just any kind of cleaning supplies find the lowest size that the coupon allows first and then compare so a lot of times the coupon may exclude certain sizes so let's just take the lowest one that it does allow the nine ounce Dawn always comes with a 25 cent coupon it comes out a lot so you can pretty much find this deal I will never pay 99 cents for Dawn anymore because I know that there's always a coupon out for 25 cents at least every once in a while so I'm gonna wait for that so with 99 cents minus the 25 cent coupon 74 cents for nine ounces okay but they also advertise sometimes the dawn 18 to 20 ounces for 250 even if we take the 250 and we subtract that 50 cents coupon because there is a 50 cent coupon for the larger bottle but not for the smaller one we are down to two dollars for a 20 ounce which is 10 cents an ounce or we take 74 cents for a nine ounce which is just smaller bottles for eight cents an ounce so even that is two cents an ounce different so you're better off buying a few of the smaller bottles with the 25 cent coupon than you are with the bigger bottles with the 50 cent coupon so the bigger coupon doesn't always mean a better deal either because you can only use it on the bigger bigger sizes so it's another thing to keep in keep in mind is subtracting the amount of the coupon that you can use on it um, another tip with this is this is just an example deal but the Dawn 11 ounce is actually at Walmart and the Dollar Tree so for 99 cents so you might as well get the 11 ounce and then subtract the 25 cents off um, so that definitely will help too we talked a little bit about mail-in rebates on in the last class so if you didn't get a chance to watch that one go ahead and go back to that one and watch it hopefully most of you who are watching this one have seen the last one but the mail-in rebates are a little different now so these were some of the examples get ten dollars back when you spend thirty in PNG products and they are very specific about their gain their tie their downy and bounce and they usually have coupons out there for it but these will be something different that you may have to search for online in this case you'd have to search PNG rebate to get to there because it's not advertised pretty much everywhere you may run across it somewhere but they're out there every once in a while so you can always check for them and also on the bottom for the Mucinex this was on coupons.com once a while ago and the good part about this was it wasn't a coupon it wasn't going to give you 250 back just for using it but when I printed it they also had deals going on with Mucinex where I would get points and everything else at the stores and then I would send in the mail-in rebate and in this case a 250 mail-in rebate from Mucinex didn't seem like much but at the time I only ended up paying 250 for the Mucinex after coupons and sales so this just topped off my free deal by putting in a mail-in rebate a lot of things you want to keep an eye out for those try me free tags that hang on the products those are usually um, kind of scattered throughout the store you never know when you're gonna run into one one store may have one but one may not on a product so when you see it that's the time to grab it 
but just make sure before you clear the shelf of all the ones with the tags on it, make sure you stick within your limit of what they're supposed to be. Usually mail-in rebates are one or two, so don't grab too many before you buy everything and then realize you're only getting reimbursed for one. So check those before you grab too many. And if you downloaded the uh, materials for the apps, you'll see a whole list of apps. I don't have them all listed here. They're all on that page. So if you get a chance to check those out, you can check them all out. They're ones that I recommended. Um, I've tried before. There's probably a few more else out there that you may hear about and may be able to try. But again, if you go through all the stores apps and then you have all these app rebates, hopefully you have enough room on your phone. Because there's times I can only pick certain ones that I'm, allow I'm allowed on my phone. There's not enough room. But Ibotta, of course, is one of the top ones. Most of us have heard about Ibotta. If you haven't, that's probably the one to start with. They have a lot of rebates like milk up in the top corner. That's from Ibotta. That actually gives you 30 cents back for buying milk, which if you're going to buy milk, you have to buy milk most of the time anyway. So why not get 30 cents back for, it, for buying it and then uploading your receipt? They also have other ones on there like bread and eggs and stuff that you would normally buy. So I like Ibotta for that because I'm not going out of my way to make a purchase just because it's on a rebate app. I It's something I'm buy, buying anyway. They also cover a lot of things on there that already have coupons. So it's nice to use a coupon and then get a rebate back for. So they kind of match up pretty well with some of the coupons that are out. Check out 51. Changes every week. So they usually start a new cycle on Wednesday, or they end Wednesday, they start a new cycle on Thursday, really. Um, but the good part about that being in the middle of the week is you may have a rebate on Monday that you really like, and they'll come around and have another that same rebate again next week, because you can usually only redeem it once. So it's nice when you can do it again at the end of the week if there's still a sale going on in another store, and you can grab two of them. So that's good about Checkout 51. But again, those have some different ones on there that we're used to having coupons on. So that's great. We can double up with coupons. And at the bottom of the screen that has Pick Your Own Offer, that is from Checkout 51 where you can pick your, pick your offer out of fresh produce, which is great because if you buy a banana, one banana, you can get it for free because you'll get 25 cents back. So silly things like that or a bell pepper. In that case, you could pick bananas, lettuce, bell peppers, lemons, and raspberries. So if you picked like lettuce, you know, 99 cent thing ahead of lettuce minus the 25 cents back, you got a deal on that. Saving Star is another one. You go through and clip everything for that. Snap by Groupon. I haven't used that in a while. That was one of the ones that I deleted and just haven't been back to. But you may find, because it has off-brand stuff on there, and Shopmium also has off-brand stuff. So if you're a natural, like natural type foods, and you shop at Whole Foods and that kind of places, those two may be better for you. Um, they have more of that stuff. But the other ones are kind of centered around the coupons and a little mix of everything. So you might want to check you know, those parts out. And then the rest of the list of ones that I have on there. I gave a little bit of a breakdown of each one and how it works on that sheet. But if you're um, if you're not familiar with them, I suggest at least downloading each of them once and trying them because you might like one over the other. You might buy more stuff from one over the other. There's When it comes to Ibotta, they give you bonuses. Check out 51 every once in a while gives you bonuses. So it's nice to have an option to try different ones and just at least see what's out there. But Whatever works for you doesn't always work for me. Whatever works for me doesn't always work for you. It's better to have the option than, you know, not know about it, right? Um, so I covered most, pretty much everything. If you grab the materials at this point and you went into our events and have all the materials for it, then you should have an entire packet at this point with a lot of information between the coupons and all the places you can print coupons from, to all the rebate apps you can try, to a little detailed page about each store. You'll have all that information in there. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You can even comment on this after you've watched it. You can message me on Facebook, whatever. I get to everybody sooner or later, and I apologize if I don't do it too quick. We're remodeling right now our basement, so it's 
taking a lot of our time, but just make sure that you send me a message and ask me questions about anything. I'm more than happy to help. We have the next class I'm hoping to do next week. It's the third and final one of this beginner set, which um, if you've watched the first two, you may be sick of hearing me, so it's, it's good that you get through the third one. But the next one will be probably about two hours also, and it will cover, we're going to do an actual class plan together, but I'm also going to show you how to find plans and how to find deals ahead of time so that you don't get overwhelmed and don't spend six hours planning for your shopping trip that you're going to spend six hours shopping for. So we want to do it so it's easier for you. Don't want to make it difficult. But I'll give you all the materials for that in the next class and I'll also give you, we'll, we'll do it together. That way you'll have a plan to start off if you haven't already tried couponing yet. And if you have, you'll at least have something to help out with, right? Um, so if you need anything, you know where to find me. And thanks for watching. I hope you all got something out, out of it. I hope I didn't confuse you too much or get you too overwhelmed with stuff. If I did, I apologize, and I don't mean to. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at the next class. Thank you all.